Hey guys, so I'm just hopping on tonight to, it's the 18th of uh, March 2022. Uh, this is a transmission for the full moon in uh, Virgo um, that uh, I was just really inspired today really to do bring through some energy um, in the form of light language activation, in the form of uh, guided a piece around working with the light body at this time because of the intensity that's coming up for many at this time um, because of the uh, all the solar activity the solar flares the CME the CMEs the, um, the this very intense combination of different astrologies I'm not an astrologist so I'm not going to go into that if you're interested in um, astrology you know Pam Gregory is a great person to sort of tune into she she says it all really well um, so we are approaching the equinox on Monday, um, evening here in Australia, in Queensland, uh, eastern, eastern side of Australia. So I will be doing a, uh, a one hour transmission for that, uh, we, and I'll put the link below after the event, uh, today. Um, so I'm just waiting for a moment or two for people to hop on this, 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 um, Transmission will be available as a replay on my wall, and yes, I will upload it to uh, YouTube after I've uh, finished, so you can access it there. And I'll post the um, both the event link for the Equinox and also the um, I said, and also the uh, the YouTube of this of this live. So if you want to share it, you're more than welcome to. Okay. So let's just take um, three breaths as we just arrive in the space together as as always with my work it, it it's the unified field even though we're if we're we're not um even though we're not side by side uh, physically we uh, can over the the energies of the, of the ethers um connect telepathically and bring through frequencies, anchor frequencies through our pillars, yes, through our pillars and into the earth. And that is one of the reasons why I came on tonight, because my work has really, um, has really uh, been about anchoring light through the pillar lately. It's been really uh, working th uh, through our central pillar, anchoring through the seven chakra system from above, down through our feet and into the earth. So that is, again, this is what is happening tonight. We are bringing um, energies through our channels. So feel your, the soles of your feet. Firstly, before we begin, feel the soles of your feet. Feel them activating like two little point starlights at the soles of your feet. And just let these uh, energies, uh, golden streams or um, lines of energy, go through your, the soles of your feet down into the earth below. And these energies are anchoring you in for the duration of this transmission. So you're, you're held lovingly and groundedly by Gaia. So feel the golden threads go through the soles of your feet into the earth. You can also imagine a golden thread going from the perineum floor, the base chakra, all the way through the center point of your legs and also into the earth. So you've got three grounding cords now going down into the earth. Feel the energy of, of Gaia supporting you, holding you. Feel your base maybe even settling out of any fear or any disruption, any chaos, the energy that's coming up right now because of the astrology, because of the, the global events, etc., etc. For this moment, we are in our protected, guided bubble of peace. Yes, we are protected by Angel Michael and his legions of uh, ultraviolet angels. We are protected and we ask for help from the Galactic Federation. Uh, those uh, Palladian, Syrian, Acturian, uh, Andromedan, uh, uh, Antarian energies that are wanting to hold space with us tonight. Our master selves. The energy of the portal of the new, of the full moon, sorry, in um, uh, Virgo. A point of renewal, 
a point of moving forward. This is the preliminary energy for what is coming in the equinox and the continuation of this year. Yeah. But right now I feel to guide you through a piece of work that is specifically called your inner crystal um, temple. And uh, this came to me uh, this afternoon as I was ha having a, a massage. <laughs> yes, I had a Friday afternoon massage. And um, I was lying there and, I, and, and these, this information came in that I would work with um, a uh, uh, bringing through key codes of light for the light body. Yeah? Key codes of uh, light for the light body. Thanks, Kathy, for the update. Um, for uh, anchoring in our crystal temple of light into the light body. And this is a higher, higher temple aspect. Um, uh, I actually feel that it's, it's a, a lyron in frequency, so it, um, 12th dimensional energy. Yeah, And this is specifically um, to help uh, with the ever amplifying and disruptive uh, uh, a geomagnetic field of the earth. Yeah. So it is helping to support our stability even while there is much um, wobble going on. And, it, and uh, the other word that I got this week is that there's sort of like a fracturing of um, energies. Uh, you, some would say the matrix. There's a fracturing of uh, the holograms that hold the, the grids in place. And this is purposeful in divine timing, in divine order, so that we are disrup disrupted enough to create um, a new inspiring thought, uh, new uh, the new earth, really, through our own um, uh, uh, increased um, capacity to tune into the higher frequencies without the disruption of the limited... Uh, 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 frequencies of the matrix. So this is also to support your uh, shielding from EMF frequency, whether it's um, natural or man-made. Yes, um, this is this this energy that's coming through is a crystalline temple template for your light body, so that you are shielded, protected, and can hold your pillar regardless of the disruption. Of, um, around you, yeah? Mm. So, um, I'm just going to work with some pieces of light language now. This is to support that um, light coding, if you will, that anchoring in of uh, sacred keys and codes of geometry through the sound of light language through from our um, exalted uh, higher self, uh, particularly from uh, the Lyran lineages, yes. So there, it's our Lyran brothers and sisters that are coming through tonight, um, for initially anyway, to help with this uh, fortification and um, shielding of your light body and auric field, okay? So firstly, uh, you can imagine that a stream of diamond light comes down from your higher chakras, 12, and uh, all the way down into the crown and in through um, your whole central pillar into your grounding uh, cord, through your grounding cord into the earth. This is a, um, a diamond light flush. This is a diamond light flush, and it is just to clear the vessel, clear the vessel and release. Release, release, release. So this is a, a purification of any energies, electromagnetic fields, EMFs, anything you have picked up within your auric field and your, your physical form. So this is a cleanse before we get going with other stuff. And I'm working with this beautiful um, uh, uh, clear quartz uh, galactic skull. Yeah. <clears throat> so just listen to the sound, yeah. 
Ese puto tu tere pere que manda na cara aqui, puto tere aqui, puto tere na cara, co tu 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 cara para cantar aqui. Chile pere que tere que puto tu no aqui, puto tere no aqui, puto tere em tu cara, que te a te a. Chá tu 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 so just take a couple of breaths, yeah? Take a couple of breaths. If anyone has any uh, feedback or anything they want to share as we go, that's fine. I may not always get to comment, but I'm happy to receive your feedback and maybe even check it later. <clears throat> so next I'm going to work with these uh, this is a, a flower agate um, flower agate dragon and, and this energy is uh, again from Lyra and it is uh, uh, silver and teal energy silver and teal energy um, that is coming in from Lyra, and it is um, uh, uh, the silver dragons uh, from Lyra, and they are, are going to bring imprinted um, uh, hieroglyphs uh, in the form of light language into your energy field um, at different positions. Uh, uh, firstly, um, the high heart space. So all you have to do is, again, listen to the... Um, light language and feel what you feel, sense what you sense, uh, see what you see. Uh, and this is imprinting this hieroglyph of uh, uh, the, 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 the temple, the temple, crystalline temple of your uh, Lyran self into the body now to support the um, uh, less disruption of the energy fields. Shabati bun de parkion to de pere pere ko de para kandana ka. Shabati ka bodo ko de parni de de bodo ko ro ko de pere kire ka da ka da ka de ko to to ndo raki. Shabati ba nan nan ra ka da ka para kandar kire pere ko de bar ko to de para kandar ki. Shomperi ali i de ki or ko andar para kandar ki. De 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 ki de 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 ki do ro ndo raki bodo to 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 Take a breath. Sense how you feel the peace, the stillness that we are creating. Gifting this peace to wherever it is needed in the world right now. And then we the second part of this this uh, Silver Dragon from Lyra Transmission is for the third eye. Again, this is imprinting uh, key technology to support your um, uh, heart-mind cohesion and so it is not so disrupted by uh, uh, frequencies, um, geom uh, geom uh, magnetic frequencies, yeah. Shibanda Dariki Badoko Barkia and Darka Barkanta Dike Badiki Borkongondo Shondor de Badiki Ba Dudu to do to do to do to do to do to do Bedekia Larkito to 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 Barkit de Kipata Ra 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 Dedeco de Doku Shondarki Kataraka Shondarki Kataraka Shondarki Kataraka Do to 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 Just take a breath. <sighs> Breathing down into your base, feeling your feet, anchoring everything through your body, your light body. So now, still working with this silver dragon energy, we're working 
above the crown, above the crown. This is to um, really insert, insert a portal of silver light, uh, which is going to transform EMFs before they hit the crown center. So this is to help with um, neurological dysfunction, uh, uh, forgetfulness, you know, anything in that order. We're wanting to just stop any disruptive energies from entering into the crown. So this is like a silver portal or a shield portal that is um, going to anchor in to this position, okay? <clears throat> She did go badata and then a key patata to show to the bat kitty kitty kabata to cut their bark and tataka. Show to tataka patka patutututu to no no to to no neki hataka. Shonta da barki cotta to 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 the capato to 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 the catarca. Shonta de key, shonta de key, shonta de key patataka. Shonta de key, shonta de key. Don't the catacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatacatac
portals of light that access you uh, different dimensional aspects of yourself. So at any time, you can work with these images that are placed in the auric field. Different spots of your auric field are being activated now as I make this sound. And they are linking within the silver light pyramid uh, of your light body. They are linking to these um, other aspects of your soul. Yeah. So this is um, the other aspects of your soul coming in through this uh, crystalline temple, yeah? And these access points are going to become more available to you now through the sound, yeah? So you will, uh, may expect that you feel more in tune with different aspects of your uh, self that you, you didn't know you had existed, such as, you know, um, uh, galactic uh, counterparts or uh, uh, angelics or um, uh, higher elemental beings even. We are going to just on the na 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 na. We are going to now just imprint these into the light body now. I hope you're all right, Chris. <laughs> okay, please tell me more. Okay. <clears throat> Just take a breath, just take a breath. Just let me grab a crystal, eh? Okay, so <laughs> That's funny. So, um, I'm working with a black obsidian sphere, yeah? And this energy is going straight into the solar plexus center. Straight into the solar plexus center, yes? So, it's like we're becoming our own organite pyramid, yes? A living organite pyramid. So that we can access these energies to support our electromagnetic light body during the up and coming pivotal changes over the next six months yeah so you can re-listen to this one re-template the energies in if you feel to yeah <clears throat> so this one goes straight into the solar plexus yeah Ashkonta da da borkote de badana nakasha. Badi botu de parakanda de kapurkonda de kapurta da karpukanda de kapurta da 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 Take a moment.
So we're now working with these moonstone palms. Moonstone palms, yeah. Uh, these are going to be placed into my hands. And this is um, just to really infuse our light body with the energy of this, uh, this, this potent uh, full moon, yeah. Uh, so this is going through the palms of the hands, yeah. <clears throat> And it is going into the heart, so it is opening up the feminine aspect, the left aspect of the heart, yes, to uh, your intuition, to your knowing, to the truth of the powerful divine feminine, yes. しれでてぼてパナナカタトコトトトでパルケガナナカシャラパルコテテペリコトレパルカンタレパルカトトレガンタケトトコテガンタキシレパルコンドトレパルカタテケトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトトト
energy field. And that is, again, forming a shield of light, a bubble of light to hold our light body, especially as we work with the energies this weekend into the equinox and into April. Yeah. So again, working with this shielded blue light. This is to reflect density, to mirror it back to where it came from. Uh, whether that's of the earth or whether that's of above. So the only of the purest uh, light in, and uh, intention can come through your pillar, yes? Only the purest. So this is a light body shielding, again, for your, for your protection and for your anchoring of the, um, uh, your higher light and not cor corrupted infiltration through... Um, mm -mm interdimensionals okay <clears throat> Ashkandara Barkonda de Padaka Barkandara Barkondo to 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 no 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 kipadananakar Apototo no 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 kipadananakar kandara barkondo de parkianto to 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 rakiandara kar Oshondo de barkianto to 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 barkandara kar kananananana katrike de 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 <clears throat> so um thanks for tuning in guys thanks for tuning in um huh, just take a moment <coughs> just take a moment take a breath any reflections anything you want to ask before i head off tonight um i will complete the light language portion of this transmission here um as i said earlier i will post it uh, on YouTube and also post the link to the Equinox event after um, after I've done this yeah um, so all I'm hearing is that for us just to really uh, be uh, gentle in our energies this weekend as we prepare for the Equinox to really um, keep hydrating keep grounding nature all that you know, salt baths, all that stuff, you know, that's useful at this time. Um, recognizing, you know, that things are, are continually ramping up in, in energetically, and therefore they are also uh, ramping up um, in narrative form as well. So to just to take time out and, and rest and, you know, do what you need to do and, and be gentle if that's what you need to be. But also, you know, some people may need to move with this energy and that's also good to let go and release in that way. So whatever suits you as your body, you know uh, what you need, okay? So um, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful evening. I'm glad the storm's complete in Sydney, right here. Kathy, Kathy. Um, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep, keep me. I'll keep you posted with what's coming up. The equinox is on Monday, um, as usual. Always available for privates um, if if the need arises. Take care, take care, take care, and I will catch you Monday or very soon. I'm sure. Bye bye. <laughs>